up and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today we have a really good video. We are going to talk about John Sullivan. I'm sure you've heard his name. He was the BLM activist that was arrested for his involvement at the riots at the Capitol. So before we get started with talking about that, I want to remind you to please go to my website at letstalkdarling.com, scroll on up to the top and make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and then scroll on down to the bottom where you can provide me with your email address and you will have access to exclusive information that I do not post here. I do not post it on Instagram. I do not post it anywhere, but on my website. So make sure you sign up so you don't miss out. Okay, so let's talk about this. As I said, we are talking about John Sullivan. And if you don't know John Sullivan, he is a um, the founder of a of a left wing um, radical group called Insurgents USA. Now, Mr. Sullivan, um, in earlier this last year, had been arrested for his involvement in previous riots that were with the BLM group. Okay, um, but in this particular instance. Mr. Sullivan put on a Trump hat, posed as a MAGA uh, supporter, and went to the Capitol on January the 6th. But it's it's all fake. My, na my, my face is not on Instagram. I learned that already. I can wear, I'm going to wear a Trump hat. I'm going to wear a Trump hat. I bought one today. <laughs> I was wearing a Trump hat at the last Trump, at the Trump rally during the daytime, because I was like, no. Nah. That shit ain't happening, bro. Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah, I was just a journalist, but I use that all the time. Yeah, I'm just a journalist. I'm here recording. I got my camera on my shoulder. Literally, I have my big ass camera on my shoulder right here. Um, under the pretense that he was there to document what was going on and film it. Um, and in an interview, you know, he said that he just wanted to show the reality so that people could see both sides. Um, but him being obviously mixed, I'm assuming with African American or black, um, you know, he wanted to show his support for both sides, but he did in fact pose as a Trump supporter. And I'm putting a picture up here so you can see number one, what he looks like. And number two, what he looked like on the day of the six. Okay. So anybody that was standing next to this guy probably would have thought he's MAGA, you know, he's a Trump supporter. Um, you know, he's there to be peaceful, but also to protest um, against what was going on that day. Um, but that apparently was not the case. Now, um, a lot of the footage that we have all seen now from inside the Capitol, from outside the Capitol, um, I didn't know this before, but I am now finding out all of that footage for the most part was uh, filmed by Mr. Sullivan. Okay, so I find that very, very interesting because now that you know this and you go back and look at the videos, okay, I'm actually going to put a link in the description box below to a very, very interesting um, YouTube video that I found that kind of shows uh, everything that he captured, um, not everything, I mean, obviously not every minute of what he captured, but the, the footage that he did cap capture so you can get an idea what footage was his. But what I find interesting here is that he was at all the major, you know, incidences that we saw on social media. He was there when um, Ashley got shot. Okay, he was literally right next to her. He was filming it. He actually filmed, he's the one that filmed her getting shot from the up close perspective. There was obviously another person that was behind her uh, that gave us a different perspective, but he could physically see uh, the, like, I mean, like this close, he could physically see the secret service agent that shot Ashley. You could see the gun, you could see everything. Okay. Then he was inside the actual chambers on the very top. And yeah, you could really freely move around. You could go into any room and, and look out the window. So it's pretty surreal to see. John says the chaos at the Capitol shows how upset people are right now. In this room. Okay. He was at a very convenient perspective for you to see everything that was going on on the floor okay even more interesting than that there was a video that showed uh from the inside of the capitol looking from the upstairs down towards the doors where the protesters were actually banging on the doors you know trying to get in well you know they were at the doors trying to get in um and he he was filming from the inside so one has to ask themselves how is it that 
This guy, a freelance quote unquote journalist who was there to document what was going on, had access to inside the Capitol, yet no other news reporters, documents, you know, or documenters, journalists, whatever, had that access. Nobody else. All the footage that you see that I'm going to provide in this link in my description box below is from Mr. Sullivan. It's not from a CNN reporter. It's not from a Fox reporter, not from a Newsmax, not from a One American News, not from a C-SPAN. Don't you think it's kind of interesting that he was in there just conveniently aiming his camera down towards that door, ready to capture the moment when those people came in. And then he quickly rushed over to the chamber uh, room where he got up to the top level and was filming, looking down on, on, on everybody coming in there below the chaos. And again, you can see is in the video that he provided, it really wasn't much chaos, okay? Yes, we did see people sitting in Nancy Pelosi's chair in the chambers and taking selfies and whatnot, but I really didn't see much chaos, even, even from Mr. Sullivan's footage, okay? Then he was able to get through all the crowds to get up to the door where Ashley was and trying to get through the window. Now, speaking of the window, I'm gonna also put a link in the description box below to the affidavit because Mr. Sullivan has now been charged with his involvement in the riots and the and the, the violence that went on there, okay? If you read that document, he has sworn testimony now that he admitted to breaking the windows, okay? He admitted to breaking a window. One of the windows that you saw in the video where somebody was breaking it, that was him. That was him. Now, I know everybody's sitting here saying, oh, but he had a Trump hat on. He's a Trump supporter. We all know these crazy Trump supporters. They were there to cause violence and destruction. But I got something for your ass, okay? Here's what, here's what I got for you. He is not a Trump supporter. Like I said earlier, he is a known left radical activist for BLM. On top of that, you're probably wondering how he got caught. How did they catch up to him? If he was filming everything, he clearly wasn't doing anything, uh, but you're wrong. You're wrong. There's also video footage, which I'm going to put up here so that you can see that he was inciting the violence. Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name's John Sullivan. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. My group is Insurgents USA. We fucking about to burn this shit down. Fuck this shit. Who, anybody out here seen that white militia guy shoot three, ki three kids? Yeah. yeah. Fuck that guy. And I will tell you this shit is in Utah, a whole bunch of white militia came out there, formed against our group. We out there strapped. We out there to burn that shit down. We out there to defend our fucking self. We got to defend ourselves now too. We do. Because power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Damn right. We got fucking, we got fucking rip Trump out of that office right over there. Fucking pull him out that shit. Nah, nah, we ain't about fucking waiting till the next election. We about to go get that motherfucker. I ain't about that shit. Cause you know what time it is? I want y'all to be after me. It's time for a revolution. It's time for a revolution. It's time. Let's go. Get up here. Get, oh, oh. They're climbing up the wall. They're climbing up. They're climbing up the wall. Oh, oh, oh. You want to know who provided us with that video? Who provided the authorities with that video? Who reported this guy to the authorities? His brother. His brother, John Sullivan, reported his own brother to the FBI. Not only stating that he was there the day of the riots, that he was involved, but that he suspects that his brother planned everything that happened. And I think he had the help of some very shady people that might exist in the walls of the Capitol building. Because again, I, I point out the fact that he had access to the inside of the building. He was easily, he, he was able to easily move around throughout the building. Even the video that everybody has seen now of that black police officer walking backwards up the stairs and through the halls of the Capitol at, you know, the way they paint it as a mob 
chased him down, which that's not what happened. He wasn't chased down. He was willingly letting them walk through. In fact, it looked like he was giving them a tour of the place. John Sullivan was conveniently standing behind that officer from a perspective for you to get video of the whole thing, okay? Now, let me take a couple of quotes from when Mr. Sullivan held a rally to basically make it known how he felt about President Trump and how he felt about uh, Trump supporters, okay? He said, and I quote, we are about to burn this down. We are not waiting until the next election. We will rip Trump out. We will pull him out. That is what he was saying. He was truly inciting violence. He truly was spewing hate. And you want to know where he put all of this? On Twitter. He put it on Twitter. And do you think, do you think that Twitter ran to go delete his profile? No, they did not. All those tweets stayed up there. In fact, all the comments on his tweet, on his tweet stayed up there. All the comments on his page stayed up there. But yet our, our president, our President Trump, has been impeached, okay, for, for quote-unquote inciting violence at the Capitol, telling his supporters to go and riot and destroy and, 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 and incite violence. Our president has been in, impeached for that. On top of that, Mr. Sullivan went on CNN with the ever so wonderful Anderson Cooper, and he did an interview with a girl named Jade Slacker, okay? Now, Jade is a documentary filmmaker. If you don't know what Jade looks like, I'm gonna put a video in here right now for you to see why we are talking about Jade Slacker. Roll the video. I'll give you your hug now. We did it. <laughs> you were right, we did it. Dude, I was trying to tell you. I, I couldn't say much. You were right. <laughs> you just have to wash my chair. Oh my God. Is this not going to be the best film you've ever made in your life? No. That's it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah? Hell yeah. Wait, you weren't recording, were you? I'll delete that shit. But I didn't record you or me. It was just voices. Okay, so you saw that video. Now let me explain to you what you have seen in that video. What you saw in that video was Jade Slacker walking. It looked like this was kind of the end of everything that had happened in the um, in the Capitol building. She was walking kind of towards the exit and she was talking to a gentleman about how exciting and invigorated she was about what just went down, that she can't believe they made it happen. They can't, she can't believe they did it. And you wanna know who she was talking to? You wanna know who was filming her? That was Mr. Sullivan. Yes, that was John Sullivan. He filmed it, he was with her, and he also sat next to her while they did a CNN interview with Anderson Cooper, which I will also link below in the description box because I can't put it in this video. But in the interview, he sat there and Anderson interviewed him and he basically reiterated the fact that he was just there to provide you know, his testimony via video as a bystander. But if you listen to this interview, as he's telling uh, his account of what happened that day, he says something that I found very interesting, okay? He says, quote, the protesters kind of stormed into the Capitol chambers and then we, we, he used the word we. So if you listen to this interview very, very carefully, you will be able to hear that Mr. Sullivan goes back and forth from account, recounting what happened that day as a bystander and then kind of, you know, recounting it from the perspective of somebody who was actually involved. He keeps mi mixing his words. Um, and, and, and if you didn't know better, if you didn't know the information I'm telling you right now, it would just look like he was giving his testimony about what happened. But in reality, because he's lying through his teeth, he can't help but tell the story from the perspective with the verbiage of somebody who was actually involved in doing the things that they were doing there. So 
Mr. Slacker was detained by the police. And I'm also going to put a little clip from that moment because a lot of people are going to say, well, here we go again. Another black man detained by the police. You know, this is exactly what we were talking about. They don't want to hold any of the white people accountable, but they're going to hold a black man accountable. No problem. Okay. Well, let me show you the video of Mr. Sullivan casually sitting on the steps as they detained him uh, for these now crimes that he is charged with. And it looked like he was just out there, you know, chatting it up with a few officers. Just passing by, you would not know that this man was in some serious trouble for inciting riots and violence at the Capitol. Okay. I did nothing wrong. I was just standing here talking. I want to make it very clear that he was not treated poorly. In fact, that night he was taken into custody and released. And then I think because more evidence started to come out and ultimately his brother turned him in and said, listen, we really think he had something to do with this. Then they rearrested him and now he is charged um, with what happened and what, you know, his involvement and in what went down. Okay. So I'm going to end the video right here, but I just want to say that I needed to point this out. I needed to call attention to this because I can 1000% guarantee you that CNN or any of the other, you know, three and four letter networks are not going to talk about this. They are not going to acknowledge, they are not going to condemn Mr. Sullivan. No, 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 no. He's a hero to them because he documented it because he pulled out his camera and showed you the truth. But nobody sits there and questions what he was doing there in the first place and how he managed to get through a building that was so chaotic and so full of crazy people that people were running and dodging for their life. Congressmen were hiding in dark rooms under tables. But yet Mr. Sullivan with a Trump hat on was able to easily move about the building and ever so conveniently capture all the moments that portray what the left side is trying to make you believe about what happened at the Capitol. I have talked to many people personally who have messaged me and have said, don't believe what you see. I was there and it really was a great moment. Yes, there were some people doing stupid stuff, okay? But for the most part, the Trump supporters were extremely well behaved, were extremely respectful. They were not part of all the destruction and any violence that went. I don't even want to say all because I personally don't think there was a whole there was a lot. But any of the of the negative things that you're seeing, you know, I have not had one Trump supporter that was there condemn anything that was happening. So let me know what you think in the comments box below. Do not forget to go to the link in my description box. It will, uh, you know, give you all the information you need about everything that I talked about. And let me know what you think. I, I, I think that, you know, one last thing before I end this video, I think that we need to really hold CNN accountable because I'm going to put up one last screenshot here because I want you to see this, but CNN tweeted something and this was prior to Mr. Sullivan getting arrested, but CNN tweeted something. I'm going to put it up here so you can read it that they, you know, wanted the people that incited the violence at the Capitol to know that the FBI was going to come and they were going to, you know, Hold them accountable for this. Now, CNN, you just had Mr. Sullivan and you just had Jade on your show not too long ago. I think it was five days ago. You just had them on your show. Are you going to turn in Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Slacker, I think her last name is, to the authorities? Are you going to go back and retract the fact that you were treating them like heroes, that you were treating them like, you know, documentary, you know, that they were they were there to document, they were journalists? Are you going to denounce that you said that? 
because I want to hold you accountable to that. And if you guys want a link to that post that I have been forwarding on social media so that you can continue to get the message across, feel free to go to my Instagram or my Facebook and you can see the post there. You can forward it yourself. But anyways, make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to come back for another video. Thank you guys so much and have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah.